Hello friends, welcome to Codeboard. So in the last video, we saw how to design a calculator in Java and we use switch statements for that. Now in this video, we are going to see another example of switch statement that is will display whether the character is vowel or consonant using switch statement. So before starting with the program or actual coding, let's create a new project. Also, if you haven't watched the video for calculator, the link is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and create new project. Go to file new Java project and we are going to call this program 3 because this is our third program. Using the default settings, click on finish. Now we have source folder created here. Inside this create a new class wherein we'll write our actual code and we'll call this character checker because it is going to check the character. And the package as usual is going to be com.codeboard.programs, the standard way of naming it. And we need the main function in our class. So let's click this and finish. So we have our class created here with the main method. Now what is our task is to display whether character is consonant or a vowel. So we're going to see whether the character is vowel or consonant. So the first step is to take the character input from the user, which we need to check. So let's go step by step. Our first step is to take character input from user. So we're going to use scanner for that. So scanner, let's create object of scanner class. And we're going to import it from java.util package. So we have our scanner class created. Now, since it is character input, we'll take it in care C equal to SC dot next. Now SC dot next takes the string. So we're going to take the character at zeroth index from the string. So this will ensure we have character input. So if you want character input in the scanner class or through the scanner class, you can use next dot car at zero. Now, since this is the character that we want to check, we use a switch statement to find whether it is vowel or consonant. So next step is to use switch statement with cases. So now we'll use switch. And since we are checking character, C goes inside this, the character we want to check. And let's start with our cases. So case. Now for vowel, the cases are going to be A, E, I, O, U. So the case A and we're going to say sys out if the case is A, we are going to say sys out vowel. For case E, again, we have to print vowel and break. So this goes on for A, E, I, O, U. So what you can do is since every case has the same output, you can give it here itself. So it will check all the cases and will have same output for all the cases. So case E again is going to be this. Now same will do for other vowels. So, so it is going to be for A, E, I, O and U. So for all these five cases, it is going to print vowel. So you can group these cases together and print whatever is in the case statement at once. And for consonant, it is going to be default case. So any of these cases don't match, then it will execute default case where we'll print consonant and break. So in this way, you can use switch statement to find out if the character is vowel or consonant. If I run this and if we enter A, then it is going to be vowel. If we enter I, it is again vowel. And if we enter H, it is consonant. So you can try this for different inputs and you will get the respective output for the character. Same you can do with if statements. So in if you can write the conditions such as if C equal to A or C equal to E or, or C equal to I and so on for vowels and print vowel in the condition and in the else statement you can print consonant. But since we are checking against the list of values, it is better to use switch in this case because it will perform better. So we have used switch here. You can also try with if and check your output. In the next video, we'll see some next interesting programs. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video. Thank you.